Hello friends, this is Akash Kaushik from Learn Programming with Akash Kaushik. And the topic of this video is Q function writing according to exam point of view. Exam weighting weightage of this question will be of 3 or 4 marks. So, I have previously uploaded two videos, one on linked list, another on Q. So, please do watch those two videos to understand the Q concept completely. Link of the videos is in the description of this video. And I'm also providing the link of this PPT used in the video in description for your reference. You guys can download the PPT also from the link in the description. So let us start with Q, introduction of Q. So basically Q is also an application of linked list. Q is a linked list with some restrictions or insertion and deletion. And basically Q follows FIFO structure. First in, first out. That means element which is inserted at first will be deleted from first from the Q. Just consider this Q. So the element in the front means the man which is standing in the front of the Q will be removed first from the Q and any other person will be inserted at the end of this Q. So insertion will be done from the end, deletion will be done from the front or basically you can say insertion and deletion will take place from the different end of the Q. Okay. Some terms of Q, uh, front or F pointer. A pointer name front or F will be used to point the first element of the Q. Rear or R pointer, pointer named rear or R which is used to point the last element of Q. Q insert, insertion, insertion function of Q will be named as Q insert or deletion function of Q will be named as Q delete function. So let us discuss about exam type questions. So the question one, type one question will be to write Q insert function based on a structure. So write a function Q insert to perform insertion in a dynamic Q considering the following stack. So this is the stack structure, student number, student name, percentage and the link to the next element. So let's have a look at the solution. First of all, void Q insert because it is insertion function. Make a, uh, make a temporary node Q star time equal to new node. It will make a new node, a blank new node. And then we have to take input data input for the new node enter detail of new student enter student number scene temp student number student name get as temp student name uh, because student name is a string so we will use get as instead of scene percentage scene temp percentage and we will make the link the temp star uh, temp arrow next to point to the null okay so while performing insertion first of all we have to create a blank node a temporary new node and have to take input of all the elements of the structure from user in this manner and at last you have to make the link part set to or point to null okay now let's proceed to the insertion part next uh, further so if front equal equal null and rear equal equal null that means if the queue is empty or the element you are going to insert in the queue is the first element what we have to do we will make the front and rear point to the temp because it is the first element the front and rear both will be at the first element or in other cases what we have to do we will make the link of rear element rear means the last element of queue the link of the last element of queue will start pointing to the new node rear arrow next is equal to temp and then rear will be shifted to the new node the last lastly inserted node rear is equal to temp type 2 question write q delete function of stack so write a function q delete to perform deletion in a dynamic queue considering the following stack i have again taken the same structure student number name percentage next and front and rear are pointing to initially null so while writing q delete function first of all we have to check uh, is the q contain some element or not if front equal equal null and rear equal equal null that means under flow the q is containing uh, q is not containing any elements or in all other cases first of all what you have to do we will make a temporary pointer which will start pointing to the first front or the first element of the node then we will display the deleted node info student number temp arrow student number student name temp arrow student name and percentage temp arrow percentage so in case of deletion two cases may arise first case the element you are going to delete is the last element of the node that means if front equal rear means uh, front and rear are pointing to the same element or it, the element is the last element of the node in that case we will make the front and rear point to 
null again or in all other cases if the queue is containing some more element we will shift the front to the next element front is equal to front arrow next front will start pointing to the next element and the first element will be extracted from the list and then you can perform uh, you can delete the front element which is pointing by the tab this is how you can perform delete operation on queue so the things to remember is uh, before deletion you have to check underflow take input of all elements of node while in uh, while insertion and to display all element information of deleting node info before deletion so before insertion take all the elements as input from the user or before deletion print all the information of the deleting node as info and check the name of pointer uh, whether they are using link or they are using next so that you can use the same name in your coding and name of queue as you have to create new node or uh, you have to make a temporary pointer to point first element then you will use the same name okay i am giving you two questions for practice so the question one is to write the queue insert function based on this particular structure and question two is to write the queue delete function based on this particular structure hope all of you will try to solve these questions and please if you can do then please do paste the answer as comment in the comment box thanks for watching my video guys please do like comment and subscribe my channel and if you have any query then you can comment in the comment box or mail me at the akashkumar at the rate gmail.com thank you so much guys